Hi and welcome back everyone. Today we're going to share our final two defending principles. We'll give you a couple of games to add to your PE stockpile and we'll share our three top tips at the end as well. We are on week six of our Invasion game scheme of work. We've covered a range of different principles and today we're going to look at our final two, compactness and balance. So first let's look at compactness. Here we've got the defenders spread out, which is great because it covers the whole area, right? But when the attackers get closer, we can clearly see how they're going to use these gaps to get beyond the defensive line. It's also worth remembering that not all gaps are created equal. The ball carrier poses the biggest threat. If they can get beyond you, then they stand a chance of scoring. Compactness means closing up these gaps so we can stop the person with the ball from scoring. But there is a problem. If the attacking team switch play, pass the ball over to the other side of the pitch, there's now a huge hole that they can use. So as the defending team, how do we prevent this? Well, this is where balance comes in. We can see this time when the attackers attack, the defenders move across to remain compact, but they're also in a position where they can shift across to the other side of the pitch where there might be a threat if needed. It's like the defenders are sliding across to block the new angle of attack. A calculated trade-off between compactness and balance ensures that the ball carrier doesn't get through the gaps, but we can also reposition if the angle of attack changes. So let's look at how we can teach children these skills across two different games. The first game is capture the flag. The attacking team aim to get to the end zone and steal the opponent's flag. Now only the person carrying the ball can make it into the end zone, but they are allowed to pass it to their teammates. Once they get into the opponent's area, they can then take the flag and then start attacking the other area. Here we see the defenders move back and defend the new end zone. The attackers are now going to discard the ball that they had originally and now with the new flag start attacking the other end as a team. When playing this game replace the flag with something that the children can throw. This allows the attackers to change the angle of attack and test the defenders ability to balance that compactness. From here encourage the defending children to be compact around the person with the ball but provide enough balance so that they can quickly reposition if the attacking play is switched. Some of the children might even be able to look for opportunities to tag the person with the ball, which wins the ball back for them. From here, you're going to swap over. Attackers become defenders and the defenders become the attackers. And our second game is three versus three, allowing children to practice those skills, but within a sporting context. You're going to ask children to set up a three versus three game. The attackers start with the ball and move it around as they try and get close to the goal. The defenders are going to stay compact, add in balance and look for opportunities to steal the ball back. Once they do, then they have the ball. The other team are gonna drop back and defend and then try and steal the ball back as well. Now this activity looks like basketball, but it could be any sport, as long as you have a scoring zone at each side. This could be a hoop, a try line or a goal. And here are our three top tips to help your teaching go even further. It really doesn't matter if the game is basketball, football, hockey, lacrosse, netball or NFL. We're going to let the children pick the invasion spot and then they can learn the principles of play through the sport that they love. Secondly, make sure you link into the other principles we've worked on. The attacking principles are movement, creativity, support, penetration and dispersal. And the defending principles are pressure, patience, cover and the ones that we're looking at today, compactness and balance. And finally, remember that this is an introduction to the basic principles of attacking and defending. Even the professionals make mistakes. So give children plenty of time to work through that trial and error process as they learn what works for themselves. Fundamentally, they have to make their own decisions. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this invasion game scheme of work. If you did, then please like and then share the scheme with anybody else that you feel would benefit from it. And as always, remember to subscribe so that you can catch next week's video. I'll see you then.